Hi guys, welcome to the channel, Tessie here and on this channel we discuss so many things, viral topics, my lifestyle, better outcomes of our community and more. So grab yourself a glass of something nice, I've got here a glass of water, come and sit down with me and let's have a discussion. So smash the subscribe button, smash the like button and let's get comfy because it's going to be very very interesting, we're going to talk about something very interesting. Please do not look at the gnashers. They are literally going to get done soon because they are seriously overdue. And yeah, I've got the gruesome twosome on my head today because I am going to Germany with my friends in October for Halloween. I'm very excited. And then Greg and I are moving into our new two bedroom apartment in September. And then we are going to Poland in December. So very, 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 very busy last few months of the year. Very exciting. So Today, we are going to be talking about the elusive coffee date. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I've noticed that when it comes to black women, you know, and our dating standards, you know, when it comes to black women talking about their dating standards online, black women are vilified and they are told that they don't deserve to have any dating standards outside of a standard coffee date or outside of this. And I, I, as you guys know, I am a ruthlessly, I have ruthlessly high standards, right? I don't do, personally for me, I don't do coffee dates. Um, and, you know, with my fiance, Greg, the first few dates that we had, the first few dates we went on were all amazing, beautiful places, fancy places. And it's not really necessarily about how fancy it is. It's about the fact that I've realized that a lot of women, now, bearing in mind, I am completely 100% for whatever women decide. So if you decide that you want a coffee date, fine. 100%, go for it. If you decide you want a fancy date or you want something more, you want something else, you want to go to the park or whatever, fine, go for it. But what I've realized is a lot of women, when it comes to the coffee dates, a lot of them think that going on a coffee date means that the man will not be entitled or feel entitled to their body or feel entitled to, you know, be intimate with them or feel entitled to their time. And I'm here to tell you that number one, you 100% deserve, okay, you deserve, you deserve to have whatever standard it is you wish when it comes to dating, and there's no point arguing with other people online about your standard, just have that standard, and keep it like that, and number two, right, the coffee date will not stop a man from being entitled, or feeling entitled to your body, I really need women to understand that. A lot of women think, oh, well, if I go on a coffee date, because it's very low key and low effort, then he won't feel entitled to sleep with me and he won't feel that, you know, he can just suggest that we go to his house or whatever. And some women even go further and they think, well, if I split the bill and I have coffee and cake and I split the bill, because some men will have you splitting the bill. <laughs> splitting the bill. Some men, I know this is distracting you, isn't it? I know. Some men will have you splitting the bill for coffee and cake. And I really need some women to understand that even if you split the bill with men, some of them will, and a lot of them actually will still feel entitled to your body, to your time sexually, because I really need ladies to understand and you really need to know men. It doesn't matter if it takes a slice of cake and coffee or if it takes dinner. The final destination of a man when it comes to dating, is always to get you into the bedroom. That is a final destination. It doesn't matter if it takes coffee. It doesn't matter if it takes cake, right? Or if it takes dinner. That is a final destination. So you don't believe that by having coffee, you're stopping him from feeling entitled to sleeping with you. You are not. The only thing you're doing is you're letting him know that, yeah, coffee was enough. And coffee is, you know, all he needs to do is have the coffee and cake or even splitting the bill, now, I really want women to understand that men will message you unprovoked on WhatsApp. They will message you unprovoked and start sending you pictures of them in the bath, pictures of their naked body, pictures of their genitalia. Listen, uh, how many of us have had Instagram, right? And we've received weird DMs. If you're a living, breathing woman, this will happen. Most majority of women, if you see weird DMs from men. I used to have a very big Instagram. Well, not very big. It was about 22,000 followers. And I, one of the reasons I deleted that Instagram was because of the weird 
messages that I would get, the weird DMs, you know, men would send weird DMs. And the more followers you have, the more DMs you'll receive. And they would just send really weird DMs, you know, their genitalia. Even on Snapchat, they would do that. And I really need women to understand these men will do this unprovoked. Even if you do not send them any message, even if you don't know them, they will pop out of the blue and send you pictures of themselves. So what makes you think they will not expect sexual intercourse from a coffee date? Of course they will. They will literally message you out of the blue without knowing you. So they definitely expect something from that. I really need women to understand, right? It doesn't matter if it's a coffee date or if it's whatever a dinner at the end of the day that's the final destination as a black woman please understand that you definitely deserve it, it doesn't matter what color of skin you are if you're a white woman if you're an asian woman you deserve 100 to have your standards when it comes to a date and to see who can meet those standards right and go forward from there and see if you can build something from there now i really want women to understand because i know there's a large majority of women like that weird german woman who was banging on about how Black women are this and that and this and that and can't compete. At the end of the day, she got a black man who came from a poor background, from a broken home, and she now believes that every black person experiences the same thing. I grew up in a two-parent household with very privileged parents. So absolutely not. And it's funny enough that she's not with that guy now. And this is what happens a lot of the time. The, the women that are pouring all that effort in and, and doing all of this and doing all of that, and that doesn't mean you shouldn't be nice to your guy, of course. Be nice to your guy, right? But you don't have to do all of that. And obviously, funny enough, she's not with him now. And I've noticed that such women, they always end up having provider necks. <laughs> do you understand what I mean by provider necks? Like women who, they're stressed. They're doing so much for the guy. They're spending all their money. But you're not the guy. What is the guy actually doing for you? How is he making your life better? And I noticed that women like that, their necks become enlarged. They become the association of enlarged provider neck women. <laughs> provider necks. <laughs> she had a very large neck. It's probably from the stress of taking care of that guy. And do you know what I've realized, right? Is men, they love what they invest in, right? And with men, the more they invest, the more they like you, the more they love you, the more they care. And when I mean invest, it's not just about money. It's not just about you know, fancy dates, like all of that stuff, it's lovely, but it's also the time, effort, care, appreciation, it's the, the love, the care, right, and you listen, when a man invests a lot, he is loath to lose that investment, you see the way men talk about their cars, they talk about their cars, they talk about, they describe the shape of the car, they go, she's beautiful, or when they talk about their stocks, they go, she's performing well, this all comes down to the woman at the end of the day. It all comes down to it. They use words like she to describe cars and stocks because they value what they invest in. And this is why when it comes to men saying, oh, women don't deserve to go out and date, I don't listen to them because a man will take one woman on a coffee date and he'll take another for dinner. What you get from one man is not what you'll get from another. What a woman will get from, you can get completely different outcomes, right? So they value what they invest in. And me and Greg, we had this very interesting conversation, actually. We were talking about, um, you know, what it would be like if, God forbid, our marriage didn't work out. As you know, Greg is Polish, I'm Nigerian, it is an interracial marriage. And we're very excited. And we were talking about what would happen if our marriage, God forbid, didn't work out. You know, we are very happy together. We are loving the relationship. And we are excited for our marriage and we can't wait to move forward. But we just said, okay, so God forbid, what if this happened? And he said he would never get married to anyone else apart from me, that he wouldn't believe that it would be worth it because he's put so much effort, time, care. And he said to me, I have put so much time, effort and care. I have done so much for you. I have pushed myself and done more than I ever thought possible for a woman. So if it didn't work out with you, I don't think I'd ever believe that it would work out in a marriage. So we had this discussion, which I really enjoyed. I want you to listen to a snippet of it and you'll see exactly what I mean. With me, You see? So the reason why is because he's invested a lot of time, love, care, effort into me, and I have it into him, and he wants it to succeed. 
When men invest, they want their long-term investments to succeed. And it doesn't start from a coffee date, in my opinion. It just doesn't, right? The guy has to put the effort in, the care, the love, the way Greg has done for me and our relationship, and now he wants it to succeed. It just doesn't start from a coffee date.